So I did a video last year uh, where I took a deer skull that I had buried and I dug it up and, and showed you guys kind of how I clean off a skull uh, that I buried in the ground to clean it off instead of using domestic beetles or boiling it or, or anything like that. This is a really cool uh, way of doing things <clears throat> where you just take the skull and you bury it underground. I like to put a little aluminum foil around the antlers so that, you know, critters can't gnaw on them and things like that. And uh, I went ahead and did another one. And so there's one buried over here in the woods, and I'm going to take you guys over there, and we'll dig it up and, and clean it off again. So I'll see you in just a second. All right, so we'll go back here in these woods. I like to bury these skulls in um, under oak trees because I've been told that the uh, tannins in the soil help to add the uh, kind of deep brown color that I like <clears throat> that these skulls have whenever you've buried them. Oh, so you can see here all these oak leaves. And here's how I kind of protect them. I buried this one, I think, in November. And it's middle of August right now. So about the same time frame as I did the last one. And in the same place. So let's see if this all comes apart okay. Rocks out of the way. I put rocks on here just to keep things from going south if a critter comes over here. Yeah, atlas bone from last year. Alright. Uh, there it is. As you can see, I put that foil on there, like I said, so that um, you know, rats and mice and stuff won't chew on it. I don't know if it'll keep them from it or not, but it has the last years. This is a little duck I shot. He uh, he actually came under the stand and had a broken leg. So I took him and let's see how this looks. Oh, it looks great. Looky there. Nothing left on him except for corpse grease. Everything else is gone. And again, like last year, there is absolutely no odor whatsoever to this. Everything is completely eaten off. I had his ears and everything were on there. The whole neck. All of it. So, you can see how well this works. So let's take him upstairs and clean him off. I'll see you in just a minute. So now we'll go up here and um, I just use a little bit of detergent, like Dawn, and a good brush. And it um, you know, washes that grease and oil off the, off the skull. That's called corpse grease and it's almost always on these things. <clears throat> and I'll just use a uh, just a spray hose and and a like a dishwashing brush and some some soapy uh, soapy water. So let me uh, get it set up here and uh, and we'll wash it off. So there's the skull, all cleaned. I don't keep the bottom jaws, uh, but you can clean them, of course, also. But you can see how pretty these guys come out. I'll take some uh, still shots of it here in just a second. See that pretty color, that, that kind of a dark amber color that it gets from that, from that soil. And there is no odor to this whatsoever. It's very, very, very clean. So I'll probably wash it off just a little bit better with some more soap and water. And I'll let it dry out in my hot, sh hot shop in the garage there for several days and then it'll go up on the wall and I'll uh, I'll do a photo of that here in a minute but I hope you guys see how easy this is and I hope you try it it takes a little bit of patience but boy you come out with a, a really really unique uh, European mount thank you guys for watching